Hello, everybody. This is another script that um, someone was asking about um, a way to uh, change the Z translation of a layer without affecting its scale so that you could have a whole bunch of layers all at different Z levels for 3D kind of parallax panning across the screen and movement, but avoiding the scaling issue due to perspective. Uh, so I, what I did was I, I experimented with a bunch of different ways to do this, well, the two different ways. Um, the first one was to modify the tool so that it would automatically add in keyframes. And that, that worked okay, um, but it's, it generally I try to avoid doing tools like that that only do one thing to, a, to the existing tool um, if it can be done in a better, more simple way. And it, it just occurred to me that this is actually more suited to as a layer script than it is a tool script. Um, for example, the reason for this is you could have multiple layers doing different things and you only need one layer that would do the automatic scaling. Um, it works on a group layer, so you would put all your layers inside that group that you want to do the, the, uh, the scaling compensation or scaling offset. Um, if on the other hand, uh, some of you still want the tool script, um, I, I'm going to upload that as well. Um, I just didn't do a lot of tweaking with it, um, and uh, there's still some issues uh, regarding the, you know, translating with the, with the number values. I was just having some trouble getting that to work, um, but, uh, you know, eventually I'll get that worked out. I can put it up the way it is, as it is now, it works, it does its thing. Um, it, you know, but it is a custom tool and there's some limitations and uh, I just like the layer script idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm demonstrating the layer script. I've already demonstrated the tool script. The layer script works almost exactly the same way, it's just a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to be demonstrating that r right now. The first thing I want to do is uh, I, I'm going to take the script out um, it, just to show you what we're talking about here. So here's a, a group layer. Um, I've got a bunch of different layers in here, um, and I believe they're all set at various, oh no they're not, okay, so these are all, they're all zero translation up here, you can see there, there's no Z translation um, on the layer uh, position. <coughs> and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate um, what happens when you uh, when you change that, so there I'm 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 holding the Alt key with the Layer Move tool, and I'm um, changing the Z translation of this this layer. Um, another thing too is uh, to really make this effective, I've turned on Depth Sort with uh, Sort by True Distance, um, and that what that does is that uh, that keeps track of of where the layer is in the 3D space and changes the order. Um, so I've got so I can have one on top. Um, let's let's do it this way. We'll go back and then um, we'll just sort of play around with this. But um, anyway, you can see what's going on here. And then if I move this layer, um, you can see the 3D spacing a little better. Um, pull these out, and you can see that the scale has changed for all those layers. Um, and one of the things that excites me about this is using it for animatics. You could do Photoshop layers, bring them all in, um, set them up with, in a group layer with the script, and you don't have to worry about rescaling them. They just because they'll stay the same size. Right now, this isn't working, so it's tricky. It, uh, it just you know, you're not getting that parallax. You're getting the parallax motion, but then that layer in the back. And the only way to offset for that is to go in and just use really really small values. But with this, you can you can do whatever you want. Um, also, to changing the z-axis of the group layer, it gives you that added benefit of compressing the um, the, the parallax, uh, the depth. Um, so now let's show you what this will look like with the script. Get my layer properties up here. I'm going to embed the script. There's my layer script. Okay, so now I have uh, this new layer script installed on that, embedded on this layer, this group layer. Um, and it, it, uh, you can see right, right away it just starts to work. This is the same setup, but all the layers now are the same size. Um, translating the layer, you can see they're all the same size. Now what's nice about this, like I said, it's, it's only affecting one document. You don't need a custom tool because you can use the regular translation tools. 
Um, there are some limitations. You obviously can't scale these layers. Um, it, this, the scale just won't, it just doesn't do anything because it's controlled by the script. So scaling is out of the question. Um, also, the other limitation is that the, um, the scale is based on one. So um, it's trying to achieve a one-to-one -one scale. Um, I, I was not able to figure out how to get the, the, the scale offset to work um, with keyed scale values. However, there is a workaround to that. Um, this is an alternative uh, method um, for changing the scale of the layers. You go to frame zero and you scale the layer on frame zero. It's, what it's doing is it's pulling the values from frame zero to determine um, what scale to use based on Z uh, translation. So now the, the script works exactly the same way, um, but because on frame zero, this, this blue layer here, this blue ball, was, it was set to a higher scale value, it's applying the offset to that original scale value. So it's exactly the same, but it's, it's, it's applying that scale. So you can't keyframe the scale um, of, the, of these layers, these controlled layers, but you can go to frame zero and change the scale there. Um, and then it, it will apply on the uh, second, you know, on the other frames. Um, so as you can see, this is pretty cool. Um, here's the other trick: is that I'm, I'm changing the Z value um, of the parent layer. And when you change the Z value of the parent layer, you get, you know, you can change the compression of the of the depth. So you get this more. You can, you know, with a really high value, um, you can get a uh, extreme. I think it's a high value or is it a low value? Yeah, it's high, higher value. The higher the number, the, the more spread out it is. Um, and the lower the number, the more compressed. Um, so so th that works pretty good. You can also, you know, once everything's in there, you can still go in and move layers around. And um, you can you can also animate. So uh, you can't animate scale, but you can animate the, 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 the depth sorting. So here I've moved that layer. Um, let me just press this back down. I've moved that red ball layer um, so that when I pan across it's going to move through the layer order. You can see that. Um, and you, you, th this is very much the same as my other video for the for the tool. I just think the layer script works better. Um, it's just more convenient. I don't have to worry about a, a selecting an extra tool. I can use the existing tool um, so it's not as much of a problem. Um, now there are some uh, there are some other things that I haven't been able to figure out how to account for. Um, one of them is the camera uh, Z depth, the camera position. There's a, the camera tracking um, has a value for Z, um, and I was not able to figure out, I, I did sort of figure it out, but the, the scale offset was so strange and extreme that I chose to just, you know, if you're, if you're doing this anyway, probably the camera offset on the Z axis is not as uh, critical for this type of use. Um, and you can work around it and avoid it, but you can't change the camera Z index with this script. It, it does, doesn't work. Um, what happens is it, it, you can see the scale now is incorrect. Um, th these four layers here should be the same size, and because I've changed the um, Z index of the camera, that value has changed. Now what I have to do is figure out, you know, I could account for that. I have to figure out what the um, calculation is to to, I, I don't know what this uh, 1.7321 value is derived from. I don't know what, what, what that value represents and how to apply it to the, um, to the actual scale offset. I'm sure it's some kind of percentage value or a number that I could easily account for. And once I figure that out, I'll update the, the, the script. Um, like I said, I was able to get it to work, but um, the number I came up with caused the layers to get really, really, really tiny or really, really big, um, and uh, it just wasn't, it didn't really serve any useful purpose. Um, so anyway, that's the script. Um, I hope you uh, it, find some use for it. Um, I think it's really fun and, and a, a cool idea. Um, the other thing I'll let you know is that it does key the scale value. At, at every place that the translation value is, is keyed, you'll also have a scale value. What this means is if you don't have the script installed, it will still work. So you could deactivate this, this layer script and um, the keys will still be there. You won't lose any animation. So everything, everything stays in place. So you could, you could 
load the script if you wanted to have a you know more control over things you could load the script up into a group layer apply your settings and then just take it out if you didn't want to you know bother with it but uh, so it does key the values um, and it will delete the values as well so if the scripts installed and you delete the translation value it will eventually delete the scale value it doesn't update right away but if you click on it it just you know disappears um, so anyway that's it uh, thanks for watching